At Universal Audio, our passion comes from our drive to deliver a quality product to the customer. On the analog side, that means resting on 50 years of classic high-performance circuit design. On the UAD and our plug-in side, that comes out of the classrooms of Stanford where myself and my friends learned about physical modeling and emulations of audio signal processing. Apollo is the first time that we brought together the analog side and the digital side in one product. Apollo is a really unique product. And of course, with any audio interface, the most important thing you can have is great sound quality. Uh, and if you don't have that, it's really a non-starter. The truth is that most audio interfaces out there today are pretty decent, uh, and they can get you about 90% of the way there. But that last 10%, that's what's made Apollo a breakthrough success. The build on it, construction-wise, is unbelievable. I mean, that's the first thing you notice when you open it, is it's like, it seems like head and shoulders above all the other interfaces that I've used. When we designed Apollo, uh, we staged listening tests with every major converter on the market. And it really pushed us to make multiple revisions of our hardware until we had something that was truly world class. Now, most folks auditioning Apollo for the first time are really blown away by the three dimensional sound and the clarity that comes to their monitors. And it's almost like you've lifted a blanket off of them. But of course, the secret sauce with Apollo is that it gives you the ability to record in real time with sub two millisecond latency through UAD powered plugins. It's one of my favorite pieces of gear that's come out in the past few years, really, because now you have in this one unit so many features that people normally would have to buy multiple units for. With the original Apollo, we had creative musicians and composers in mind. So it's got four very transparent built-in mic preamps, front panel instrument inputs and headphone outputs, and various digital connections, including Firewire 800 and optional Thunderbolt. It's basically a Swiss Army knife for your audio production, getting you from inspiration to really polished sounding tracks as fast as possible with a single box. With the new Apollo 16, on the other hand, we're building a system for the professional and project studio engineer. Now, studios typically have their own rack of outboard mic pre's, maybe a mixing console or semi mixer, and some sort of a headphone or cue system. So they really just needed an Apollo model with great sound, 16 channels of analog I.O., and real-time UAD processing. And that's exactly what Apollo 16 gives them. I'm just glad that Universal Audio came out with an interface like this, because you guys make great stuff. It sounds great. It works seamlessly with your plugins. One thing that both Apollo and Apollo 16 deliver is scalability. Now you can combine two Apollos and get up to 16 channels of analog I.O., or you can combine two Apollo 16s and get up to 32 channels of I.O. Either system gives you up to eight cores of UAD processing right in the box. So whether you're running Studers or Lexicons or any of the larger UAD plugins, you'll have the power on demand that you need. Of course, if you need more power, you can expand the system with Thunderbolt. And since we've got two ports on the Thunderbolt option card, you can also string hard drives, monitors, or any other peripheral on the same Thunderbolt bus. The uh, idea that I can bring this with me and always have uh, reliable mix platform uh, was important to me. And so Apollo brings with it over 50 years of analog circuit expertise and a decade plus of what we've learned about making high quality plugins. It's a clean, simple, and beautiful system. And we hope that the passion and quality that we put into it comes out in every one of your recordings.